I've seen a lot of strange diets for weight loss, but sometimes patients will ask me about diets that still make my jaw drop. I mean, I get that people will do a lot of things for the sake of losing weight, but there are some things that are just not worth it. Let's talk about the tapeworm diet. The idea is that you'd infect yourself with a tapeworm by swallowing the tapeworm egg and allowing it to grow inside your intestines. Tapeworms are parasites that attach to the inside of human hosts, then feed off the host as well as any food that passes by. Some people hope that by having a tapeworm living inside of you, any food you eat would be eaten mostly by the tapeworm, resulting in less calories being absorbed into your body and helping you to lose weight. The claim is that you'd be able to eat whatever you want and still lose weight. Fascinating. History of the diet. The tapeworm diet was born out of the Victorian era and its unusual standards for beauty. Back then, tiny waists of 16 inches were desirable and women wore extremely restrictive corsets to achieve these unnatural results. Weight loss and slimming were achieved by any means necessary. In fact, tapeworm eggs were sold as supplements back then and had advertisements selling these things. The standard for beauty back then was to look like you had tuberculosis. Pale skin, dilated eyes, rosy red cheeks and lips, and of course, a tiny waist. People even took small doses of poison like ammonia to look like that. So it's not surprising when something like the tapeworm diet would come out of a time like that. The FDA has since banned the import and sale of tapeworms. About tapeworms. Tapeworms are a class of parasitic worms that have a life cycle that involves living inside of a host. Tapeworms that infect humans follow similar life stages, starting with an egg being consumed by a host, usually by inadvertently consuming undercooked meat fish or food contaminated by fecal matter. The egg passes into the intestines where it penetrates deeply into the mucosal lining. From there, it can migrate to other areas of the body and grow into long segmented worms, feeding off the nutrition of its host. There are a number of common human tapeworms. Let's go over four of them. The pork, fish, beef, and dwarf tapeworm. The pork tapeworm, as the name suggests, is usually caused by eating infected raw pork. Once a human is infected, it normally grows to 2-3 to three meters in length, but can become much larger, sometimes over 8 meters long. The problem is that the pork tapeworm can migrate to other areas of the body once they penetrate the gut lining, causing cystizercosis. In cystizercosis, the pork tapeworm can burrow through the gut lining and find its way into muscles, skin, your eyes, and your brain. In fact, the pork tapeworm prefers to burrow into brain tissue, with infections causing epilepsy, seizures, and blindness. It's pretty nasty. The fish tapeworm, usually caused by eating raw or uncooked fish, grows even longer, with an average of 10 meters in length. Fish tapeworm infections can sometimes cause heavy immune responses and cytokine reactions due to the massive amount of eggs that fish tapeworms release into the stools. Around 1 million eggs per day for one worm. That's a lot of friggin' eggs. There are concerns of eating sashimi or raw fish and getting fish tapeworms. In Canada, any fish that is to be consumed raw must be first frozen at a temperature of negative 20 degrees Celsius or below for 7 days or to a temperature of negative 35 degrees Celsius for 15 hours. This process kills any tapeworm eggs or larvae. Beef tapeworms, again, usually caused by eating raw beef, tend to be the largest of the tapeworms, reaching a possible 22 meters or 72 feet in length. Imagine a worm the height of your body multiplied like 13 times in your intestines. It's not surprising that severe beef tapeworm infections can cause intestinal blockages that require surgical removal. The dwarf tapeworm, usually found in the stools of infected rodents, mice, or bugs, tend to be the smallest of the human tapeworms, reaching only about 4 cm in length. It commonly infects children living in unsanitary conditions. Side effects. The pork tapeworm can cause cystizercosis, resulting in hard nodules under the skin and neurological damage. However, mild fish, beef, and dwarf tapeworm infections can be mostly asymptomatic. 
This is because of the four tapeworms, only the pork tapeworm spreads outside the intestines in humans and causes infections in other tissues. The other three generally remain in the intestinal system and can cause all kinds of gastrointestinal symptoms. Things like diarrhea, constipation, abdominal pain, nausea, and changes in appetite. This is likely the reason why most people avoided using the pork tapeworm for this tapeworm diet. Nutrient deficiencies like B12 deficiencies are possible in longer term heavier infections, causing a host of symptoms including pernicious anemia, dizziness, weakness, fatigue, and so on. When tapeworm infections are more severe, the tapeworm can clump up and cause intestinal blockages, requiring surgical removal to clear such infections. Is it effective? Theoretically, it should cause weight loss. However, Finding actual evidence of the effectiveness of the tapeworm diet is quite difficult. Most medical sources include weight loss and malnutrition as symptoms of tapeworm infections. However, just because it's listed as a possible symptom doesn't mean it actually happens often. Additionally, there are documented case reports of tapeworm infections leading to no changes in weight or actual increases in weight gain due to the tapeworm causing increased appetite and hunger in victims. Finally, it's important to remember that most tapeworm infections, particularly those of the beef, fish, and dwarf tapeworms, typically present asymptomatically, especially in adults. That is, they have no discernible symptoms at all. No nausea, no abdominal pain, and no weight loss. Weight loss is simply not a common symptom of regular tapeworm infections. In fact, most of the literature I could find about tapeworms definitively causing weight loss came from growth stunting in infected children or from heavily infected individuals. So to answer the question, is the tapeworm diet effective? Not likely. If anything, you may gain some weight due to an increase in hunger, and you're probably more likely just to get diarrhea or some random gastrointestinal problems from it. If you do lose weight from it, you'll probably be in a small minority of people who actually experience weight loss from tapeworm infections, or you'll likely have to be very heavily infected with it, at which point the problems that it causes would probably not make it worth doing anymore. Let me know what you think about the tapeworm diet down below in the comments, and if you found this video interesting, please leave me a like. As before, I'm Dr. Brian Young bringing you weight loss info on this channel. Subscribe and hit the notification bell if you're interested in learning more and share it with someone you know can use the help.